In the tumultuous backdrop of 1940, Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator emerged as a groundbreaking cinematic satire, a daring venture that both mocked and condemned the rising fascist regimes. As audiences grappled with the realities of World War II, Chaplin's film, infused with humor and biting social commentary, stood as a poignant reflection of the era's anxieties. Diving beyond the surface, one might wonder, are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Unearthed details, such as the challenges Chaplin faced while crafting a film that boldly defied political norms, add layers to our understanding of this cinematic gem. Speaking of gems, have you ever pondered on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some lesser-known facets of The Great Dictator that contribute to its enduring legacy. Did you know that Chaplin's dual role as both the Jewish barber and the tyrannical dictator Adenoid Hinkle was not just a testament to his acting prowess, but also a deliberate artistic choice? This bold move allowed him to humanize the oppressed and condemn the oppressor within the same narrative. Furthermore, the film's famous speech, where Chaplin, in the role of the barber, delivers a powerful plea for peace and humanity, was initially well received. In a time when war loomed large, this call for tolerance and compassion faced backlash. Yet, with time, it became one of the most iconic moments in cinematic history. As we uncover these intriguing facets of The Great Dictator, we invite you to share your thoughts and any hidden nuggets you might have encountered in your exploration of this classic. Your insights could unveil new dimensions to this timeless masterpiece. So, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? What about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Great Dictator? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In The Great Dictator, the stormtroopers under Hinkle's command wear World War I era German spiked helmets, known as Pickelhaben, with the top spikes removed. Interestingly, these helmets are worn in a reversed manner. What should be the neck guard is positioned as the front visor, and vice versa. This deliberate deviation from historical accuracy adds a subtle yet impactful visual element to the film. The choice to use modified Pickelhaben serves as a symbolic nod to the era and political climate the movie satirizes. The reversed helmets mirror the distortion of reality and inversion of values under totalitarian rule. This attention to detail highlights Sir Charles Chaplin's commitment to using every element of the film to convey his satirical message. Chaplin's meticulous approach to sound is also notable. While attempting to simulate airplane motor sounds for a specific scene, he found himself outdone by one of his sound technicians. Rather than relying on elaborate methods, the technician went straight to an airport to capture authentic airplane sounds. This incident exemplifies Chaplin's dedication to achieving authenticity in his work, even if it means deferring to the expertise of others. The atmosphere on the set took a poignant turn with the visit of Douglas Fairbanks in 1939. His laughter at a scene being filmed turned out to be one of his last moments. Fairbanks passed away within a week of that encounter, leaving a somber memory associated with the making of The Great Dictator. In exploring these behind-the-scenes details, we gain insight into the thoughtfulness and precision that characterized Chaplin's filmmaking process. Each choice, whether in costume design or sound production, was made with a purpose, contributing to the overall impact of the satirical masterpiece. The Great Dictator remains a timeless classic, not only for its bold political commentary, but also for the meticulous craftsmanship that went into its creation. The film's enduring relevance is a testament to the enduring power of cinema as a medium for social and political critique. In 1940, Sir Charles Chaplin took a groundbreaking leap into the world of sound cinema with The Great Dictator. Breaking an 11-year silence since the end of the silent era, this film marked Chaplin's first venture into an all-talking, all-sound production. Departing from his iconic silent performances, Chaplin embraced the power of spoken language to convey his satirical masterpiece. One remarkable aspect of the film's creation was Chaplin's meticulous scripting. He authored the entire script in conventional form, except for the fake German dialogues, which were left to improvisation. This attention to detail extended to the intricate globe dance sequence, where every movement was scripted to precision. 
Chaplin's commitment to the spoken word and choreographed actions added a new dimension to his storytelling. Amidst the cinematic innovation, the personal life of Chaplin faced its own drama during the filming. His relationship with Paulette Goddard, who played a significant role in the movie, saw strains. Despite their efforts to salvage the connection, the marriage ultimately dissolved. In a twist of fate, Chaplin introduced Goddard as his wife in 1942, only to part ways amicably within months. The two, however, had a surprising reunion in the 1960s in Switzerland, where they shared a lunch, marking their final encounter. In delving into the details of the great dictator, we witness not only the evolution of cinematic technique, but also the complex interplay of personal relationships during its creation. From scripted dialogues to the intricacies of personal lives, each element contributes to the enduring legacy of this 1940 classic. Shot over an extensive period of 539 days, The Great Dictator stands as a testament to the dedication and perseverance of its creators. This 1940 cinematic gem, a departure from Charlie Chaplin's iconic silent performances, broke new ground in the realm of sound cinema. However, beyond its cinematic innovations, the film carries interesting anecdotes. During Hinkle's impassioned speech, a mix of recognizable German words like Wiener Schnitzel and sauerkraut is woven into what seems like coherent dialogue. Yet, it's a clever ruse. The speech is, in fact, gibberish, with Hinkle humorously uttering phrases like cheese uncracken. In a seemingly obscene context, Spain, under the rule of Francisco Franco, kept the film at bay until 1975, a year marked by Franco's demise. Only then did the great dictator find its way to Spanish audiences in April 1976, ending a ban that spanned decades. These behind-the-scenes details add layers to the film's legacy, showcasing the meticulousness that went into crafting both its on-screen narrative and the challenges faced off-screen. From the extensive shooting duration to the linguistic play in Hinkle's speech and the geopolitical context of its delayed release, The Great Dictator continues to unravel intriguing facets decades after its making. As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of The Great Dictator, let us not merely close the curtains but engage in a reflective dance with the echoes of this 1940 masterpiece. This cinematic gem, a harmonious blend of satire, and profound humanism still resonates across the corridors of time, nudging us to ponder on our shared humanity. In this symphony of wit and wisdom, Charlie Chaplin orchestrated a timeless melody that transcends eras, urging us to gaze into the mirror of introspection. As the credits roll, consider the threads that bind you to this celluloid tapestry. What chords did it strike within you? Did it unravel the fabric of your convictions, challenging you to question the status quo? Or did it evoke a quiet revelation, echoing the silent whispers of empathy? The Great Dictator is not merely a film, it's a conversation, an invitation to commune with the nuances of history and the perennial struggles for freedom. Your personal narrative intertwines with this cinematic narrative, creating a tapestry of reflections and revelations. We invite you to share your thoughts, your favorite moments, and the emotions that this cinematic odyssey has stirred within you. Let your words become brush strokes, painting a canvas of collective contemplation. Whether it's a shared chuckle at Chaplin's timeless antics or a poignant realization stirred by his impassioned speech, every perspective adds another layer to the vibrant mosaic of the great dictator's legacy. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us. Your reflections are not just ink on a page, but the whispers of a community drawn together by the magic of storytelling. Your time and thoughts are cherished contributions to the ongoing dialogue that enriches our collective experience. So, as we take our final bow, share your thoughts and memories. Let the conversation continue beyond the screen, for in these shared reflections, we find the enduring beauty of connection.